Thank you so much for tuning in to Awakening with Katina Love, where we help you expand your consciousness and become your best version. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button below and remember to click the bell so that you'll be notified for every new audio and video upload that we do. Today, we have a special guest, Goddess Butterfly, Galactic Shaman. Today, we're gonna to talk about emotional intelligence. Her website is mariposasgardenbutterfly.com. Hello, Butterfly, how are you? Greetings, I am well, good to be back. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to talk about emotional intelligence, but before we get started, we're going to do a quick 30 second um, meditation just to help you to center so that you're able to fully receive what the message is today. Yes. So we want to welcome you. And we are going to just take some inhalations in the nose. Deep inhalation, breathing out of the mouth. As again, we are sensing and acknowledging our breaths. To acknowledge the breath is to acknowledge light. Taking deep inhalation. Just sensing the breath, listening to the breath, connecting with self. Inhaling. One, two, three, four now and releasing. Inhaling. One, two, three, four. Bringing your awareness in the body and releasing. Listening to the breath. Another deep inhale, acknowledging the breath and releasing. We'll take one more. We're gonna inhale love and releasing love. Inhaling love and releasing. Awesome. Thank wonderful. you so much for that. You're wonderfully welcome. Awesome. So let's talk about emotional intelligence. Um, what is emotional intelligence and how did you discover it? Well, emotional intelligence. Um, I went on a little quest within self mm -hmm. and it was about having contact with my clients and really um, exploring the aspect of people not really understanding mm -hmm. or understanding about how they feel. And we have been programmed to disregard our emotions. We've been programmed that our emotions are either negative or positive, mm -hmm. which in turn um, blocks us and stagnates us in about speaking the truth about how it is you are feeling, mm -hmm. not really having the proper emotional vocabulary to be able to express mm -hmm. one's true feeling, their, your truth. So in turn, we've been programmed to say, oh, you're being too emotional, or you're being negative, or you're being this, which is causing levels of judgment in self. So when I went on a quest to begin to study deep about the emotions and what our emotions are telling us, I've, I've um, began to really speak about how intelligent our emotions are. Mm -hmm. And all of our emotions, basically what it means is that all of our emotions are ex is essential um, to our well-being. Right. Um, each one of our emotions brings us a specific, uh, intelligent guide or thought or action. Um, and from those thoughts and those actions, mm -hmm. um, we are able to learn, um, how to work in our day to day life mm -hmm. with our 
emotions, or I say our energy in motion, which is our communication centers, which is our messengers. So when we begin to have a different perspective mm -hmm. about our emotions and understand that they are messages for us to balance, to guide, to react in our lives. So that's how it began. Well, that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. So how important do you think our emotions are? Um, and a lot of things, I'm sorry, before we go further, I was just thinking about how you talking about how we were programmed to suppress our emotions. Um, that is so true. Yes. Um, and it starts as a child because we're taught that, oh, you shouldn't do this or don't talk back or, or this or that. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I find that, and I, I, I've seen other people do the same thing with their kids. Like, oh, be quiet. Oh, shut up. Or, you know, go to your room or you're getting on my nerves or whatever that is. Right. That's exactly. Not healthy. It's not, so it's we're, not healthy. We right. It's not them. healthy. We program them as babies. And even, mm -hmm. a, even a little baby, if a baby is crying, there's mm -hmm. a reason why. And we need to find out why the baby Exactly. Crying. Not exactly. shut up. You know, I, I don't like that when I, when I see that. I don't see it often, but. Just the other day, I was at I was at the bookstore and a lady she spanked her baby. She was, the baby was only like nine months, and I mm -hmm. kind of got a little pissed off. I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> wow, wow. You know, it was the baby was crying, but I understand the baby probably got on her nerves. But it's like, why is your baby crying? You need to find out what does that cry signify. So for, she's exactly. not even in tune with her baby to know the language. Of babies, they cry for reasons, and there's different cries. I've seen it on Oprah. Oprah has an old show about, you know, understanding. There's this, uh, this psychic. She was able to tune in and tell the different cries and teach what each cry meant to the mothers. And she was right on everything. You know, they she, there's a psychologist there, and they verified everything. Everything was correct. And it was just, the the moms there were they were like surprised like oh my goodness like i didn't even know <laughs> yeah and the reason why is because they don't know about their own emotion right you know you you can't uh is it in other words it's difficult to tap into uh an emotion of your child when you can't tap into your own emotion so you are again being programmed and not being honored for our um, specific emotions or, or what, it, what it is we're trying to express at the time due to the programming of if you're not happy, if you're not joyful, um, if you are not, you know, pleasing, uh -huh, uh -huh. then it's negative. Right, right, right. That, you know, that's the program. So you have you know, your different categories or four basic emotional categories that we move and thrive from. Uh, again, I, I talked about how our emotion triggers um, a specific thought pattern, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or it, it triggers a, a specific action. Um, so it's about understanding the categories of where my emotion is coming from. So that's anger, the, the anger, the fear, the sadness, the happiness. The frustration. And, huh? And, and the frustration as well. Well, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, each category has different branches. Okay. So in the space of anger, for instance, in uh -huh. anger, you have uh, empathy, you have shame, you have guilt, you have hurt, you have uh, uh, um, um, different levels of that anger, right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you can be angry and be shameful for being angry. You can feel guilty for being angry, right? Mm -hmm. You can be um, uh, angry because someone is not empathetic to you. So it's different levels. And when you're understanding the different layers of what anger is, all we've been taught is that I'm angry. I'm mad. <laughs> and you're like, well, what you mad about? I know. What's wrong? 
I don't know, I'm just mad, you see? Uh So that is like, I'm not able to communicate and have the proper vocabulary, Mm -hmm. the proper intelligent emotion to express to you why I am angry. And then that response is because they don't don't even know because they're not tapped in, right? Well, they're not taught, they're not taught. See, it, it, you, you have to, it's just like somebody telling you, concentrate. And, and if they, if you've never taught me to concentrate, how do I know what concentration is? Right. So if you've never been taught the proper vocabulary to express your energy and motion within your being, it's very difficult. So that's where my teachings come in. Mm-hmm. And having a different perspective of teaching a person this is what this is Mm -hmm. and this is how you should express this so that you're able to get deeper to the truth of what it is that's causing the anger that's causing the fear again let me jump back because fear is like your anxiety your confusion fear uh uh Fear can be jealousy. Fear can be envy. Fear can be being panicked about something, right? Right. So you have sadness. Sadness can be just grief. It could be depression. It can be suicidal thoughts. It could be, you know, it's different layers. Then you have happiness. Happiness means a a a a, a, a joy for blissness, mm-hmm. meaning I'm content, yeah. meaning I'm I'm satisfied. I feel good. I like the sensation it's giving me. Mm-hmm. So it's it's about when you're able to break them down and you're able to categorize the what I call the heat of any one of those situations. It can be extremely hot. It can be mild. It can be cool. Right. You know, so, but I get into all of those types of things when we really get to talking about, you know, developing that and, cre- and, and being in that part of that uh, spiritual awakening, my spiritual awakening program that really gets deep into um, dealing with your emotional uh, truth, dealing with your emotional self. Yeah, so important. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like, just like we were saying, like it all starts when we're we're kids, when we're babies and everybody's programmed. Mm -hmm. But why Mm -hmm. do you think that men suppress their emotions? I'm not, Mm -hmm. not all men. Not all, because yeah. men are, there are some men who are in tune with their emotions and they and do you express. Know, you know what's interesting? I just had a conversation with a brother the other day, just out of the blue. I was at Starbucks uh-huh. and he was sitting outside and he was like, God is. And I was like, oh, wow. Hi. And we wound up sitting down. We talked for three hours wow. and we were really talking about, I asked him, I said, what is going on with the masculine energy? Mm-hmm. And he was like, to be honest with you, you know, he was like, we, he's like, a lot of men are afraid to express their feelings. And he was like, this is why you have such a high rate of marijuana or different drug addiction. Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. the masculine has been programmed or has been placed on this specific, um, way of being this is what you supposed to be or supposed to do macho man men don't cry i'm a warrior and it sucks and it's like and what happens is sister he said the women don't allow the men Mm. to be emotional that is so true and i said well people this is what irritates me because People don't take the time to understand that the same emotion that you feel, he feels. He has a divine masculine and feminine within his being just as you. That is so true. And he has to be able to nurture himself. So what happens is a lot of the, the masculine energy is not able to nurture himself with love and, and, and patience and gentleness because he was taught you a warrior. You don't cry. You, you man up. You take care of the house. You do this, you do this. And all they know is pressure, 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 pressure. In turn becomes a pressure cooker. Mm, And then they explode. So they they either, they stay, they either check out. Mm -hmm. They um, become a very low vibrational being, you Uh know, just trying to cope, just trying to so-called survive, but never really truly able to cry and express and nurture their their feminine energy within them you know right. so it's, 
is causing that deep imbalance. It's a deep imbalance that's taking place. Just as I said before, how the feminine has moved so much forward in her masculine than her feminine. So now, now you got some men more in their feminine and they have released the masculine. So it's just the double, triple imbalance. But until we find these balances within ourselves, our divine masculine and feminine within self, mm -hmm. that's, that'll bring forth the healthy consciousness. But we're moving towards that. We, yeah. we are moving towards that, absolutely. And, and through love, through compassion mm -hmm. for each other, you know? I it's love that. Brotherhood, yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. So if there are any men right now who are listening, I just, we just want you to know that it's okay to express yourself. Yes. Um, and balance, have a balance of the both masculine and feminine energy. Yes. And it's okay. It's okay to cry if you need to cry or if you need to express yourself in any other type of way. It's yes. okay to do that. And you want to try to go within yourself Mm -hmm. embrace who you are as a spiritual being without mm -hmm. judging yourself and without right. caring too much about what other people think about you, whether that's your spouse, yeah. your mate, Absolutely. your, your, your family members or your friends or whoever that is. And, you know, as you grow spiritually, you want to take note, you know, and kind of reevaluate the people who are in your circle. Absolutely. So if they don't embrace I you, then it may be time to distance yourself or let people go and just do you for now, you know? Yeah, that's the whole point of emotional intelligence. And the whole point of having the intelligence to be able to have the proper vocabulary to express your emotions. And that, that's the problem. People don't know how to express their emotional self. So, you know, we, we get super, super angry. Right. Or we shut down and that's what's happening. That's what's happening across the board. So for a person to even begin to move into their spiritual awakening or get deeper into their heart's truth, they have to be able to understand what it is their emotion is communicating to them. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah. So, you know, when you are, beginning to tap into and be the observer of yourself, mm -hmm. be the observer of your emotional trigger, what I call triggers, your, your, your alert system. Mm -hmm. Your alert system is your emotions communicating to you. How do I know that? By you asking yourself, how does this make me feel? Mm -hmm. When we truly get tapped into self about how something makes me feel, Right. This, 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 is, this is when you begin the journey. Mm -hmm. This is when you can say, that person is not serving me for my highest good. Exactly. That is not serving me for my highest good. I don't like the way that makes me feel. Now, it's important to be able to know and observe that now this feeling mm -hmm. or this particular situation or this particular energy and motion in my life, is it teaching me something? Is it for the betterment of myself, right? Right. Um, is it helping me? Is this trigger helping me get to my mastery of myself? Right. So you have to ask yourself certain questions and be able to step back long enough to observe it. Right. And how you do that is by acknowledging how I am feeling. Right. Because you have those feelings for a reason. Absolutely. Definitely. That's your messenger. It's your, your alert messenger. System. It's your alert system. It's your guiding post. It's your intuition. Yes. It's, it's your sacred water. Like I tell people, your thoughts is your water in your garden. It's your water. Mm -hmm. That's deep. Yeah. It is your water. Your thoughts are what feeds, what moves. What That's what I say. It causes action and movement. Mm -hmm. My thoughts drive my vehicle. That is so true. Yes. So, and then in, 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 or your, or your garden, how you planting your seeds, your, your thoughts are your seeds. Absolutely. You know, so your emotions is the water. Right. You know, 
is it dirty water? Is it polluted water? Is it <laughs> right? Is it corrupt? You know what I mean? Exactly. What's in your water? What is in your thoughts? What, what are you thoughts? thinking about? That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna manifest. Exactly. But we don't. When we just begin, although uh, God is, we want to. We we want to be mindful not to judge ourselves before those mm-hmm. emotions, right? Absolutely. We're sorting through them, you know, as we sort through our emotions, maybe they are negative in the beginning. Maybe we, we will be pissed off. Like, what the heck? I had no mm-hmm. idea this was going on or whatever. You know, in the beginning, you know, just speaking from my own journey, when I started yeah. to awaken spiritually, you would be pissed off in the <laughs> beginning because you'd be like, why, why was I lied to? Or how come I wasn't taught this? Or what's going on? How come nobody else yeah. doesn't know this, you know? Absolutely. So... It's okay to go through those emotions in the beginning. Absolutely. Right? It's all healthy. To get to that, to get to that higher state of consciousness. But just Indeed. to understand it's going to be a journey. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it is that. It, it, is, it is welcoming the emotion, right? Mm-hmm. It is understanding the emotion. It is identifying it, right? And then it is being able to channel through the emotion or be able to um, move through it. That's when you're able to place it where, where it needs to go in your life. Yeah. You know, so it, 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 we are super intelligent galactic beings. Mm-hmm. Everything in us is an alert. It has a system. Yes. GPS. System. Yeah. Absolute system. So when we're able, like you said, to guide and use our guiding system, use our GPS, which is our emotions. Hello? Yeah. Our emotions is the GPS. Yeah. Because it's going to guide you on where to go. Yeah. That's when you get into the intelligent trusting. You trust your emotion. You trust it. You trust your... They don't lie. They don't lie. No, they don't lie. It's a reason. Yeah. Like, again, when we get to putting uh, 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 um, something on it as far as that's negative, that's positive, that's negative, that's positive. That's right. negative. No, it's not. We got to no, get beyond that. Right, right. We got to get out of that. We yeah. got to reprogram the way that we communicate to ourselves. We have to reprogram the way we communicate to ourselves. We are programmed to abuse ourselves, goddess. Right. The program is for you to abuse yourself. Judgment is abuse. It is. It's not self-love at all. Oh, no. Judgment is abuse. Motivation is two different things from judgment. Motivating yourself saying, okay, let me get my, my butt up. <laughs> and go do this. We all have that. It's time yeah. for me to get up. It's time for me to get up. You know, that's motivation. Uh-huh. Instead of saying, I'm so, I'm, and we all do this. I'm, I do it sometimes being lazy. <laughs> and then I say, no, my biggest thing, be gentle with yourself. Yes, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yeah. yourself. Yeah. I have to I tell my clients, I tell myself that, butterfly, be gentle. Be yeah. gentle. It's Not okay. Soothe yourself. Yeah. Because be your mother, be your father, be be that all that you need to yourself. Don't expect it from somebody else. Absolutely. Whether you're a woman or a man, because it's your responsibility. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you are responsible for you. So it's time to get in tune with yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And sometimes we just need to take a break from our friends, our spouse, or a significant other, whatever that is. Yeah. Those people in our lives, take a break. We don't always need someone there to validate us. And that's the biggest problem, Mm -hmm. I think, with humanity is that thinking that we need someone outside of us to validate us. Exactly. That's a part of us. That's the part of the control. We have to. That's the part of the judgment. Yes. of it absolutely yeah we have to accept ourselves regardless of what other people are doing yeah let me indoctrinate you let me let me um tell you i'm gonna put fear in you so i can control you right you know so when we get deeper in a space of overstanding that fear does not exist and right 
the fear that we create within our mind and the limitations of our own guidance system of our own divine self, our own being, this is just you going through self mastery. Right. And let's remember that fear, the acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. Say that one more time. Not even real, false evidence appearing real. Yes. So as you, 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 it's like a misuse of the imagination of what can be or what can go wrong mm-hmm. or this happened last time in my last relationship or this or that. Yes. Just, you know, let that go. Absolutely. Yeah, let, let that, that go, go by trusting yourself to know that. Let me reflect back upon what it is that I learned and let me be gentle with myself in it yeah. and only speak and express the things that make me feel good. And what it is that I want to experience. Right. And we have to just change the water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get a filter, change honey. The change the thoughts. <laughs> put, put a filter in it, honey. Put, put a filter in it. Put a filter in it, honey. Filter it out. Clean it out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So where do people begin? Where would you, if somebody's just awakening to this info? Mm-hmm. I would say, you know, begin with um really exploring uh e- emotional intelligence um what it is that i'm offering i would say that's good but be- basically begin by asking yourself how does this make me feel when you begin there mm-hmm. then you're able to tap deeper into your emotional body and then you're able to put things in place that assist you and getting deeper into self-mastery or getting deeper into your own personal spiritual awakening. All that means is moving higher into my higher wisdom and my higher knowing. Yeah. And putting in practices. That's when you're putting in those practices. That's when you're putting in meditation and affirmations and yeah. And putting all these other components, yoga, Tai Chi, Qigong, when you're putting these things into the mastery of your program, you need to understand what it is removing. People are going into stuff and doing things and they are not, they're thinking they're getting a fast result and they're not because they're still not dealing with their emotional truth. Right. But like you're saying, you gotta you gotta quiet your mind first. So in order to even be in tune with yourself, you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta so there's almost no such thing as quieting the mind, but you do it as best as you can. Yes. You just and like we started out with um breath work in the beginning mm-hmm. of this of this talk. Exactly. If you could just take some deep breaths and just breathe, mm-hmm. just, if you could just learn to breathe better because breath is life. Just acknowledge your breath. Acknowledge just, your breath. Just hear it. Just, just, just listen to yourself. Breathe in and out. Acknowledging your breath, and then from there you can put colors in there. Let me inhale. What does? Let me inhale green. You start working with your sacred star system, your chakra system. Let me inhale that. Let me release that. They can go for a walk in nature. Nature is yeah. a good. Nature is the place you want to start. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. For sure. Connect with Great Mother. Absolutely. The biggest healer. The, you want to feel love? Go to nature. Yes. Go to nature. Go where some trees are. Flowers, bushes. Yeah. Go to the, go to the, the, the you know, the park. Go to the flower garden. Mm-hmm. Go see, go see Mother in, in action. If you want to know who you are, if you want to know the beauty of what you come from, go to a flower garden. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Go to nature. Go to the big trees and stand in the middle of them. Mm-hmm. If you want to connect to something. Yeah. Set your intention and you'll feel yeah. the energy. Absolutely. 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 So it's been wonderful. So if they want to work with you, um, goddess, butterfly. Mm-hmm. Yes. If, because sometimes we need that help. We need another person to guide us on our emotional yes. journey. So if they want to work with you with your programs, they can just visit your website. 
Yes, please visit the website. Um, you're um, able to sign up for the newsletter to keep updated with events and different programs and offers. Um, you can send me a, a, also an email um, and all that's on the website. The, the email is Mariposa's Garden, the number 13 at gmail.com or just simply go onto the website, sign up for the newsletter. And when you do, you will get a free chakra ebook um, that mm -hmm. it will help you as well to assist you in, in, in um, beginning your, um, your awakening process and getting a deeper understanding of your divine blueprint, your chakra system to start you on your way. But yes, those, those things are there. And I have uh, some other things on the store. Uh, I have a few eBooks, um, the intro to your meditation flow. That would be great of assistance to anyone that's ready to start that journey. And then I have the intro to chakras as well um, to uh, begin to assist on that journey. That would be very, very helpful to um, tap into that. So yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I'm here for Beautiful. you. Also connect to me on um, Facebook, um, Goddess Mariposa on Facebook. Um, also connect with me almost at IG at uh, Mariposa's, um, what is it? Cosmic Embrace TV, I have one. Beautiful. That's my YouTube channel. And then you can go to um, Mariposa's Garden uh, underscore Chakra Guru. Beautiful. Um, I, yep. So Mariposa's is spelled M-A-R-I-P-O-S-A-S. -S. Garden, yes. Beautiful. So Mariposa's Garden, Butterfly.com is her website. Or you can reach out to her in those other channels. Yes. Yes. So thanks for tuning in to Awakening with Katina Love. Namaste. Namaste, goddess.